Hello, I'm Michael Holmes. I'm a senior lecturer in politics and international relations here at Liverpool Hope University. Um, I'm going to say a few things about the economic dimension of the, uh, the Brexit referendum uh, and some of the implications uh, that are coming up there. Uh, I think, for, to my mind, um, whilst I'm not an economic specialist, I'm a political uh, expert in terms of what I analyse and what I look at. And, but to my mind, in terms of understanding the economic dimension, this is probably the heart of why the European Union exists, and therefore it's the heart of what the referendum is about as well. But I think, at the same time, economics is not an exact science. It's not, although it likes to portray itself as having rigorous laws that explain how economics works. No, because these are things that are created and maintained by humans, and therefore they're open to human choice. So we shouldn't be too definitive about this. So that means, again, we're dealing with a complex issue. We're dealing with one where you don't see very clear-cut, simple black and white answers to most of the questions. Having said that, I do understand that the, the broad consensus across many, many leading economic institutions is that uh, leaving the European Union will have damaging consequences for the British economy. And I think that, to my mind, makes a lot of sense from a number of different perspectives. Now, I would add in a couple of comments in relation to that. First of all, economics is not the only value to hold. So if people want to prioritise other issues, social concerns, political concerns, cultural concerns, those can be just as valid, if not more so, than economic concerns. Uh, but also, if we're looking at the economic picture um, on its own, there's still a very, very complex set of relationships. Just to try and give a couple of illustrations of that. Um, it depends really what sector you're working in as to whether you see benefits or, uh, or disadvantages out of membership of the European Union. And again, whether you see uh, that you'd be better off or worse off if Britain was to leave the European Union. Um, so I could take one economic area, such as, let's say, fisheries, which generally has not done well out of the common fisheries policy of the European Union. Um, uh, and that therefore, I could fully understand people in that sector saying, well, we might be better off not being part of the European Union. Now, I'd, at the same time, I'd say immediately, n leaving the European Union is not going to create more fish in the North Sea. So it's not an automatic benefit in that kind of way. Um, so there are still a lot of imponderables, a lot of things we don't know for certain about uh, the outcome of these kinds of economic choices. Again, uh, if somebody is working for a company which exports, a lot is going to depend upon which countries they export to. So if they export primarily to Germany, to France, to the Netherlands, uh, to Ireland, which are amongst some of the leading, leading uh, partners for trade that the, uh, that the United Kingdom has, well, in that case, it is going to create difficulties. It is going to create a certain increase in barriers. It's not going to cause e immediate economic cataclysm, but it is going to cause difficulties and put in place barriers to trade. Um, whereas if somebody's working for a company that trades more with China or with the United States, they might be thinking, well, I'm not going to be too badly affected by that. Now, of course, once you're in that kind of relationship, uh, negotiating trade deals with China or the United States, Britain would be in a much more vulnerable position if it's doing so on its own. It might be able to get better benefits, but also it's losing the benefit of having a lot of, number of other very powerful, very strong economies negotiating alongside it, negotiating as a collective bloc, which is what has happened in the European Union uh, up until now. So uh, it's not a clear-cut, black-and-white situation that emerges if we look at the economic issues. Again, it's something which is quite complex and uh, uh, is going to affect the economy in lots of different ways. I would say, on balance, probably the British economy will uh, do less well outside the European Union, but again, it depends strongly on exactly what areas that you're looking at.